All right, guys, we are back with Baldur's, uh, Baldur's Gate, Jesus Christ, Yokai Watch 3. Um, we were supposed to be playing Outbound Ghost, but because of a lack of checkpoints, recaps, or a journal of any kind to that contains the story thus far, I unfortunately need to start that game over again, thankfully. We only played for about just under five hours, so starting over again would just be a full stream um, and we would basically catch up to where we were. So we're gonna do that next time. Uh, but tonight I decided, fuck it, let's get some Yokai Watch 3 in. I know a handful of you watch this one regularly, and you've probably been missing my videos. So Yokai 3 it is. I almost switched to Wandering Sword. I might be a little obsessed. Go to Springsdale Sport Club. Wait, what is my... Fuck! What is my... Ah, right. I use the directional pads on the number pads to be my up, down, left, and right. Okay. So clever, Barry. No. There we go. Hey, Megan. It is a lot, Ratatosk. It is a lot. I don't know, honey. I feel like with... The games that you already want to play, I feel like you have an already big enough roster that you don't need to add a 13 plus game series to your stream. If anything, I would say just play the Trails games for yourself. At least the first three. And then if you decide to, you could play Cold Steel Live because those are really popular and a lot more stream worthy. Where the original first three games, as you've seen me play, are very hard to stream. It takes really good concentration from the viewers to enjoy the Trails games. Which is why only a few of you watch me when I play those. Maya Skyler. Maya Skyler? Uh, yes. Never heard of her. You know she's the girl who's wearing leopard print clothes? Doesn't ring any bells, sorry. But anyway, what's been going on with her? Well, we arranged to meet today, but she hasn't turned up. That's not unusual, Megan. She probably overslept or something. It happens all the time! Well, if her name's Haley, it does. Yeah, but she's been like this for days. Yes, but that's because the... Um, it was definitely reconstructed to appeal to the <laughs> our demographics well i mean to be fair falcon pitched cold steel the way they did you know what i mean like all of a sudden cold steel was mad popular over here and, like, nobody besides me and, you know, the, the fans had heard of Trails in the Sky. But everyone else was like, oh, Cold Steel. And then started playing it and was like, what? I feel like I'm supposed to know things already. And only to find out there's previous three games to you. Well, technically four because Crossbell. Plus, Ratatosk, I feel like between Star Ocean, the Dragon Quest games, 
Or I feel like you're gonna have your hands full. I'm, I am know where the Goblet of Flavor is from, Bolt. <laughs> you dork. Ugh, well, if it isn't Megan and Haley. Isn't she another of your classmates? Well, this is Lily. She's so pretty and great at sport. Hey, Lily. Have you seen Maya recently? Maya Skyler? Yeah, I saw her just a moment ago. You did? When? At Cafe Shamista. I'll go and talk. Yeah, honestly, it's really hard to forget Ratatos because the game likes to constantly remind you. I mean, you can't, you could have jumped into Cold Steel and eventually it fills you in on things that have happened, but you don't get the same like emotional connection to the characters like I have from playing the first three. Oh no, not the vegan pizza. Oh no, oh no. Sorry, there's this girl who mimics the Kardashians as her TikTok and they're hilarious. And when she does Chloe, she has like this ridiculously blonde wig on and instead of fingernails, she's got like post-it notes because her nails are always ridiculous. And when she talks, she always goes like this. Oh no, not the chocolate. Oh no, not the gluten. Not the gluten. <laughs> it's so funny. Ah. <laughs> and then, like, her nails are always falling off. And, like, sometimes she goes like this. And all of her nails come off in her hair. <laughs> Ow! She's so funny! But it's not far. I'll come too. No, trust me. You should wait here. Else you might, uh, else she might see you and wonder why you aren't where you said you'd be. Oh, I guess. Well, thanks, Haley. I'll leave it to you. Well, let's get ourselves on over to ca Cafe Shinista. Haley, look over there. Yeah, because Bolt, I mean, um, Ratatos, when you start Trails, you're going to want to just keep going. Like, once I finished the first game, I picked up two right away. The only reason why it took us so long to get into Trails of Cold Steel 3 is because out of the first three games, it's the most expensive. Trails of Cold Steel is still almost, uh, three is still almost 40 fucking dollars right now. It's ridiculous. For a game that old, it's honestly criminal to charge that much. But they know people will pay for it, so. I have to say, I'm surprised Isabel would fall for a brat like him. See, I told you it was weird. Well, I wouldn't say weird per se. They do say opposites attract. Don't say that. So sorry. But hey. Hey, they're getting on like a perfectly happy couple as far as I can see. Oh, well, yeah, if it's a money situation. But could you also save that money? What do you do for work? Wait, you don't have to share that if you don't work. Yeah, if you get the capture card, will you already have games to play right now?
Ah, there's an unknown here. Oh, I see him. I see him. I see him, I see him. He's right there. I fucking see you. Ah, well then I think you've got your answer there, honey. I think you should wait on the capture card. You can stream from your PC. I know what you're thinking. So before you ask, yes, I have put on weight. And I feel awful. You gotta do something about this. Oh, so kicking my ass is your answer? Righteous. I love that for you. I love that for you. I really do. Uh, so the trails in the sky, the first game, you're looking at roughly, I think I completed it in 30 hours. Um, the videos are on my YouTube if you want to check. Oh yeah, that I didn't do. I didn't do, I did most of the side quests, not all of them. Yeah, I was going to say, I think I finished somewhere in between 30 and 40 hours. Because I didn't, I didn't do everything. Yeah, I was going to say, if you don't do every mission, I would say 45-ish. <laughs> of course! Run, Tom! You're a friend! You're part of the fucking bakery! I do anything to help my community members. You're all my little tarts, and I love you all. I never usually put on weight no matter what I eat, but lately my favorite kimono has been feeling too tight for comfort. I could make an effort and dye it, or maybe, you know, someone will like it. Have it then. Hopefully there's someone who can make it look good as I did. Oh my god, I got a kimono for my fucking Miyukieri. Um, I would have played them if I had realized they were part of a series because they were on, I had it in my old Xbox, uh, my old GameStop that I worked in years ago. We had the Trails game for the PSP. I never bought it because I didn't realize it was a long-standing part of a franchise.
I am in the right place. <laughs> Megan Yon! Ugh, well, everyone looks so fit and in shape. Huh. So there's a, where's this legendary trainer yokai that Watkins mentioned? Maybe we'll see some buff-looking yokai pumping iron around here. Right, you have to play Riviera after you play those, or you won't understand what's going on. Hey, it's a Q-door! Or baffle board, excuse me. It's all baffle board. One, two, three, four. Oh, hello, little snail. You also, technically, Ratatosk, you could, in theory, emulate the first three games if you got a PSP emulator. <laughs> Fight the fat. Sounds great. Welcome to Ezap. Attention! Oh god. It's like a yokai meat feast. Yeah, like what Bolt said, if that's up to you. Yeah, I just wish that story didn't take so long to get interesting in the first game. The first game is easily the slowest. But like I said, if it's money, Ratatos, like I said, you know, I try not to encourage it. But with the price tag on those games, you could just emulate Trails in the Sky 1, 2, and 3. Just get a PSP emulator and you can play them from there. Just an idea, so that way you can save money. But I always will obviously encourage people to buy the games, but... Fuck you, cow soup. The fucking peanut. There we go. Oh, 
All right. Yes, won that fight. That was easy. But your Yizap training has only just begun. Brace yourself and feel the burn. More. I never asked for this. Can I? Oh, rust a bit first. You're in Yizap now. No slacking. My leg experts are going to kick you into shape next. We're gonna mold you lazy lumps into pinnacles of perfection. I'm all get out exhausted. This is just too and too much. Ha. Is that all you've got? Come on, show me some fight. No, Bolt, you've watched, honey. You've been watching me. I haven't played all of three. Oh. Never mind. I thought you were talking to me. I was like, you know I'm working through three now. <laughs> Never mind. It's not all about you, Barry. You're not on your stream. Shut up, Barry. It's not all about you. Oh, fuck you, you stupid bitch! Ugh! Making me waste my ultimate! You're so irritating! Fuck you! Wow. Seriously? You're a fucking asshole. I'm in a rush to get it done, but yeah, don't rush. Well, and we're still missing like one or two games that haven't been translated yet. And now, possibly, Nayuta is going to be tying in. Well done. I can do it.
<laughs> this is cute. Fancy that issue eight. No worry. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I don't understand why they. I don't like when like companies say that, when like they, they know damn well that you need to. Yeah, that's gross. Switch to Pi to activate Story Link. Ah. Come on. They sure do. They do go on sale every two to three months. Stop. Okay, thank you. I need to leave and get to a safe spot. Y'all in my way. I'm kind of driving me low-key crazy. Yes. The rabbit, huh? <laughs> huh? Ah, they can work out. I can't fight online. Saving it first. Ah, 
Um, I love Tokyo Xanadu. Why did is there <laughs> why is there rumors that they're connected? <laughs> Cause like they're not. <laughs> But I've been reading people saying that, like, Xanadu is, like, tied into one of the Falcon universes. And I'm pretty sure people keep saying it's Trails. And I'm like, it's not. <laughs> Wait, Toa's in it? Wait, really? He's... Oh, really? But, like, I know, obviously it's not really connected, because Tokyo doesn't exist in this universe. Like, it's its own weird world. So, like, when people were saying that, I was like... Exactly, well, yeah, that, and it's, first of all, not the same name. But my biggest thing was, Tokyo doesn't exist in the Trails games. Therefore, it is not connected, people. It's mentioned in the article. Oh, specifically on a small island somewhere along St. Penitsburg River, and artifacts are found there somewhere along the river. But the river has many branches. Where exactly did they meet? Beats me. Unfortunately, details concerning the area remain elusive. Oh, well, worth telling Buck. Ancient artifacts unearthed. Yes. Ew, if you say that it's connected to the real world, I'm going to, like, throw a hissy fit. Because no. 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 Why, I, why are you... I feel like you're basically telling me the universe is somehow our world, but, like, later. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, don't... Don't do that. I don't know. Okay, good. Because that would be fucking stupid. Oh, by the way, you're really on Earth. It's just after some kind of event, everything got renamed and blah, 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 blah. Like, I would have been like, okay, I'm done. I'm done. That is the best turn that this series has. I am over it. I would literally stop playing right now. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely never touch the series again if that was like... if what I was thinking was real. I would be like, nope, I'm good. You can keep your stupid shitty game. But that is not the case, and therefore, I am happy. That would- could you imagine, though? It would be, like, literally the worst thing ever. No! Now, you're, now I'm thinking we're, we found- it's like- we're from Earth, but we're, like, on another planet. <laughs> or an alternate dimension alongside Earth. You're the one making me think at all. My brain hurt. You stop. <laughs> if it winds up being some stupid lame thing like that, though, I am, like, never playing. I will not finish those games. Ew. <laughs> oh, remember, we all left Earth 500,000 years ago. We are the great, great, great descendants. And da -da -da -da. Like, I would be like, nope, we're dead. I'm good. I am so good. <laughs>
Good. Well, your little hints are making me nervous, so... Blech. I'm always up for a good M. Night Shyamalan, okay? But, like, fuck. Sometimes no is no. Sometimes somebody has to put a foot down and be like, uh-uh. No. <laughs> yeah, but we all know that Star Ocean is us leaving Earth. They even talk about Earth. You know what I mean? Like, that's different. We know we're from Earth and have taken to the Sea of Stars. They gave you a little straw. Now drink, Barry. Drink the ocean. Drink it, bitch! Yeah, they're kind of little bastards like that, huh? I kind of like to think of Falcom. Falcom and Atlas as, like, the troll. Like, the trolls. Like, did you ever play Nocturne? That game is the biggest fuck you to gamers ever. You want to talk about some of the most infuriatingly difficult battles in a turn-based RPG? Close none to Digital Devil Saga? Yeah, those games were like Shin Megami's fuck you to the players. I want to see how ragey I can just make you all. Oh my god, speaking of that, I, Bolts, you know a game you would really like, dude? Going with your kind of taste, you should play Soul Hackers 2. You, oh my god, I would watch you stream the fuck out of that game. I have that game, and that game is amazing. It is literally adult Pokemon, and it's so much fun. And you don't have to play Soul Hackers 1 in order to play it, because they're completely different games. No, I don't know what. Tell me. Tell me more. Tell me more. It is. It is the same team. Uh-huh. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. I'm already planning on streaming the Persona 3 remake re when that comes out, too. So I hope you're all down for what for some of that shit, because that shit's going to get crazy. Ah, yeah, Persona 5, we streamed Persona 5R two years ago to completion. And then I I was going to stream Soul Hackers 2, but we had so many, it's it's actually pretty lengthy. Um, not as long as Persona R, but if I'm not mistaken, it's at least a good 80 to 85 hour RPG. Um... So I decided not to stream that one, but yeah, um, Soul Hackers 2 is phenomenal. I am obsessed with that game. Yeah, see, in my opinion, Ratatoss, that's kind of criminal. Like, that game is old. There is no reason it should have a $40 price tag 
to this day. Okay, that game, after a certain amount of years, games need to be marked down to, like, a, you know? Like, 3 has been out for so long, at this point, it should be $20. 25 tops. Like, that game is old. Yeah, that's what I, and it's short. It's short. Trails the 3rd is the shortest out of the 3. If any of them were going to be $40, Trails 2 should be $40. Because that game is, like long but we're already almost we're halfway done with trails three already aside from the doors aside from the doors storyline we're already down to the last three platforms like we're already halfway a little over halfway done with trails three all we've got to do is go to the doors, which are gonna, which is really all. That's that's, that's where all of the other additional time is gonna come from. Is the doors? If it wasn't for the doors, we could probably beat Trails third in like my next three streams. I could probably sit down, stream it for three more days, and we could beat Trails third. Like you know what I mean? It is that short. Forty dollars is criminal for that game. Criminal. Criminal. No excuse for that game being that expensive in the first place, especially as short it is and ex double how long it's been out for. The game is like early 2000s. Like, why is it still 40 fucking dollars? That's like companies out there charging 100 plus for sealed copies of Final Fantasy VII. That's what y'all look like. I'm just saying. Look at scalp prices. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm pretty sure this is why we stopped playing. Last time. Yeah, see? Oh, my God. It's so old. There is literally, literally no reason that it is as expensive as it is. It's bullshit. It came out in 2007. Nah, man. Wait. I don't- what is not working? Oh, come on! Nothing's working! Oh, come on! What the fuck? Nothing's working! Alright, whatever. I'm good. I'm fucking good. Fuck this. Oh no, you bit me. I'm so fucking good. This is bullshit. My buttons aren't working. I'm fucking, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm good. Take your fucking sweet ass time. I literally don't fucking shit. I don't give a fuck right now. I am so irritated. It's because my buttons aren't working. Like, what the fuck? Turn! Like, are you real right now? And 
I can't even like get off on any of these platforms. This is so stupid. Yeah, apparently I have to click and drag my fucking mouse. Tur using left and right doesn't work. So I can't use the left and right directional buttons to do anything. I have to swipe on the gu That is so ass. So ass. Yeah, this is this is like shitty game mechanics. Yeah, this is I don't I don't care for this. Yeah, I know. I now it's it's clear to me why we quit. <laughs> it's all too clear. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I hate that. <laughs> Yeah, I shot that one. This is the most that I have... I've never actually was able to land when we first played this. So that's... It's Cat... It's Christopher Columbus... Cat Lumbus. I already have one of these, though. I'm sorry I got frustrated, guys. That was really bad, but, like... You, you just witnessed what happened. Like, that was really shitty. That was really poo-poo cock ahead. Nice. There was no point in fighting them. Thank God it's over. That was crap. I hated every second of that. Are these the ruins? Whoa, baby, I guess Whisper was right. See, Pi, I told you so. You should listen to me more often. I reckon this means the artifacts are lying around these parts. Well, let's search faster if we split up. I'll go search ahead. Y'all cover this area. On it. If you find something, just holler and I'll come a running.
Oh my god. So, Ratatosk, did you hear how we basically kicked the shit out of Texas? Finally. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can find it. Okay. I was gonna say I feel very ignored. Here, I'm gonna send I'm gonna drop the link in the Twitch. All right, here. This link You've got to click on it and watch the video. We, I, all I was saying is that we just had a massive victory over Texas. The state of Texas. Go watch that clip. It's short, and it's sweet, and it's to the fucking point. Well, it's big, especially for Ratatosk and her community. I mean, it's big for all of us, but... Right now, let's be honest, the trans community on the LGBTQIA side is the one getting fucked over the most. So, this is a big victory for Ratatosk and her part of the flag. I don't normally get political, but this was, this was a big deal. Oh, yeah! <laughs> the video, you're watching it too. Okay, yeah, the video, I was a little jarring at first. I was like, oh! <laughs> yes, Ratatosk, honey! I wasn't sure if you had heard, so I wanted to make sure you saw the video. What? Now it's illegal to fuck with us in Texas, bitch! Eat my little rainbow ass, motherfuckers. You can't touch this. Can't touch this. I know! That was my first thing was like, Texas before Florida? And then I remembered, nah, there's something going on in Florida's water. Oh, it makes sense. Goodness gracious, an ancient keychain accessory. Colorful stones on keychains were all the rage back in ancient times. Okay, now you're making stuff up. I am not. I agree with Jibanyan on this one. 
Not just the ancient's incredible. There is sterling legacy they left here. Hey, that's Buck's voice. Come on over here. I reckon I found something good. Yeah. Guess we better go look. Yeah, I was like really surprised. I was like really. Now, yep, now we gotta do Utah and we gotta get Florida. Florida's gotta be last on the lift. Florida is like next level crazy right now. We'll save them for last. Because we might, we might have to cut them off and push them out to the ocean. I'm just saying. We might just have to be done with the whole state. Just amputate it. Give it a little push. Give it a little, a little push. Go be crap out there. Bye. Go be your own little hate-filled island. I might need a fighter croc. Ah, <laughs> Who goes there? Who goes there? Who are you? Why do you look like a shark? It is. What are you doing here? How did you find this place? We just paddled down the river using a raft. Thanks for saving us in the forest back then. We'd have been in rural trouble without you throwing us that dream thing. Oh, just who are you? I suppose it's safe to tell you, as you prov proved yourself able with the yokai watch dream. Very well, behold. I, it was I who developed the yokai watch dream. No, no way! S -s 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 I can't say it. It can't really be. Yes, the former CEO of Yopple Incorporated, Steve Jaws. Oh my god. Anybody got the reference? I'll give you a minute. I'll give all of you a minute. Let me know when you catch up. Let me know when you get the reference. Yeah. CEO of Yapple Incorporated. Steve Jaws. I fucking hate this. <laughs> Burn it with fire! Steve Jobs, down with him. Ew. <laughs> Gross. What a horrible reference. Oh my god. Out of all of the millionaires you could have fucking posted, you put in your game, you had to make a Steve Jobs reference. Ugh. Oh, I feel dirty. I feel so dirty. I'm clean. I'm not clean. Oh, cringe. Steve Jaws and uh, uh, America Yokai. All those artifacts really were parts for the dream model? Exactly. Those were prototype parts I developed. What? So everything they found really wasn't ancient? Well, I always did prefer the latest in modern technology, anyhow. Boop! Ooh, coffee coursing through my veins. Give me them level ups. <laughs> what was that? Oh, the ice in my cup. Never mind. Rigged! Rigged! Fucking rigged! Bah! Howdy. 
Say, Mr. Sharkman, why did you choose this place for your research anyway? I was looking for something. For what? Not treasure. Not quite. It wasn't no meteorite. Indeed, as you said, it wasn't a meteorite. And in, in reality, it was a UFO. That is what I came here to research for. What happened with that UFO? From here, I can investigate the many mysteries that surround it. Wait, so the UFO was real? Yuck, 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 yuck. Like I done told you, UFOs really do exist. As it stands, there are still many mysteries I can't explain just yet. But it seems I am boring you kids. Oh! Oh, you know what game needs to make a comeback? The Game Boy versions were okay, but the Wii game was amazing. Spectrobes. Disney needs to revive Spectrobes. The fossil revitalizing Pokemon series that they made briefly. Because the Wii one, the one on Wii, was fucking amazing. So they're obviously Scully and Mulder, except they're called Blunder and something else. Um, yeah, I'm excited for that, Bolt. I just want to be the first to say a Smash Brothers Disney game has been on my idea list for ever. And because it's Disney, you I bet you we'll get like Sora in there at some point. Marvel, like, Captain America. Luke. Luke Scott. Luke, I am your father. I'm also really excited for the Warner Brothers one to come back. I had fun playing that. I mained Tom and Jerry. New information. Yes, relating to that meteorite we saw falling on our way here. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that would be hard. Well, I, I mean, I feel like... I don't know. I feel like that could be 50-50 because isn't Sora in Smash Brothers? No, he's not. That's Cloud. Never mind. That's Cloud and Sephiroth. Never mind. Yeah, I feel like at best they could at least use the original characters, Sora, Riku, and Kairi. If they can't use the other characters, I feel like they should be allowed to use those three. You heard the Jaws fella, right? It's gotta be someplace in town. I just know my UFO stone's gotta have something to do with it. So let's quit whistling up the wind and go on and find it. Come on, let's go! A UFO sounds riveting. I must say, I found this whole affair somewhat suspicious until now. Square needs to stop being stingy because and start just going back to making games that their fans want. Because they keep trying, they keep like trying to do all of these things that none of us have asked for. Like, none, like, you know what I mean? They're like doing, but then they're, they're also doing other things. That we do want. 
So it's like, it's weird. Because, like, we they're giving us the remasters we want. But they're not giving us the games they want. Oh, my God. They can shove that down my throat all day. Oh. Um, I'm also excited that they announced a Final Fantasy IX remake that I knew was going to be coming eventually. Because nine is amazing. And they said they'll be keeping the turn-based combat. Oh my god, Bolt, I love you. I was literally about to mention the team Square themselves also want to do a six full ground 3D remake of Final Fantasy VI. Not a pixel remake, a full ground up remake. They've already mentioned it. They've mentioned... They want to do, they're do, They're already doing the 9 remake. That's already happening. 6 is on the list of games they want to do. And uh, Final Fantasy X-3. Oh, he's adorable. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, they did do HD remasters of 10 and 10 too. You know what I mean? So that you can get those. Um, I know it's not the same. I know it's not the same. Oh, I already have you. Um, so the original creator of the Final Fantasy series, 10 was his last, uh, 10 and 10 2 were his last games. Um, he actually had plans to do a trilogy. And after 10 2 didn't do well, until after it had been out for a while, they fired him. Because between the failure of 10 2 and the failure of Final Fantasy, the Spirits Within movie, they actually never fully recovered from that movie's um, expenses. And they essentially blamed it on him because he helped greenlight the movie. Um, so, unfortunately, then he left after he was fired and made his own game, Lost Odyssey, on the 360. Um, yeah. Spirits of Thin was a horrible. It had nothing to do with Final Fantasy anything. I didn't need it to be an adaptation of one of the games, but it could not have been the furthest thing from Final Fantasy ever. It was literally a sci-fi movie with Final Fantasy on the title. If it had just been called Spirits Within, that would have been a beautiful, it would have been a beautiful CGI sci-fi movie. But when you plug Final Fantasy on there, that's where you fucked it up. The, the movie didn't even... That's my other point was the movie's storyline was fucking confusing. First of all, they give you the littlest bit of background on what has happened to the world. So you're, like, thrown into this alien swarm that's already been happening. The world's at an end already, and you're like, what the fuck is happening? Well, yeah, but Advent Children only came out, came out in, like, high school. Uh, Final Fantasy Spirits Within came out a few years before that. I would have loved an Advent Children sequel. That would have been sexy. Final Fantasy 7-3? Yeah.
Honestly, we're probably never going to get one. Yeah, I absolutely agree. I absolutely agree. A hundred percent with you, my friend. Um, but yeah, Final Fantasy um, 9, 6, and 10, 3 um, are titles that they want to do, supposedly. 9 is happening. 9 is definitely happening. We already knew that. Um, and the other one... I believe the uh, there was another thing they were talking about doing. And I can't remember what. I remember... I remember that the Turks... They were making a, a Final Fantasy game based on the Turks. And that was cancelled forever ago. I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be a PSP game. And they had a trailer for it, and then it, it never saw the light of day. In my opinion, a Final Fantasy game about the Turks would have been pretty cool. Yeah, I don't even remember what the game was called, Bolt. I just remember that they had announced it years ago. That they were working on a game about the Turks. And I was like, um, okay. I honestly never thought I wanted a game about the Turks. But, um, I'm intrigued because there's clearly a lot of backstory there. Considering that Tess Tessing has a prior relationship with Ares as a child... So, like, there's a whole unexplored background there between the four of them that I would have loved to know more of, but whatever. Oh, you bitch. Okay, I don't think I have her yet. I do not. Or him. I think I have ice cream in here somewhere. And they want hot dogs. Okay.
Alright, come on. I need to use another item. Oh no, I don't have any hot dogs. Shit. Let's just throw something random at them. There we go. Blast them with your bunny beam. Noise. I hope I get one of them. Damn it. Wasted my items on them and didn't recruit a single one. It's okay. I recruited one from the other fight. Oh, it's 12.03. All right. Well, we got to get ready to wrap this up. Not yet. I'm just getting ready. Kind of sad that we wasted, like, a good chunk of time trying to figure out where to go in, um, Outbound Ghosts. Could have just popped this on and gone ham with this for a while, but it is what it is. You know? Sucks, but I'll, I guess I'll live. Okay. Now where do you want me to go? Wait, where am I supposed to be going? Ah, shit. Okay, hold on. Right, but where is Sparkopolis? In Springdale. I don't 
know where to go. I'm so confused. Oh. Okay, I don't want the one that goes to San Francisco. I want the blue train. No, pink train. I need the central line. Yes, this one! Because I need to go to one station over. This is so annoying. I don't like the train. It's such a tedious mechanic that they added. We gotta skip, not spring, we get off at the next one. Right? <laughs> oh, it's such a tedious, and there's no way to fast forward through the train parts. You have to play them. This isn't where I needed to go. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, fine. I didn't want that. It is the one I wanted. I need the central line because it stops stop by stop. I'm going to shoot myself. Like, right here. In between my fucking eyes. I'm so annoyed right now. Just go! Okay, not getting out here. Next stop. They even have to stop to show people getting off and on. Like, what the fuck? This is a 3DS game. Why is it this motherfucking detailed? And why can't I skip? Just fast travel to where I need to go. Thanks for the bug. <laughs> okay, guys. So, Friday, I cannot remind you enough. Tune in. I will let you guys know the official time. I'm aiming for 8, like 7 or 8 that night. But tune in because I am streaming the FNAF movie, okay? I am streaming the FNAF movie that night so we can have a movie night on the Twitch. So make sure that those of you who want to see it, tune in. I am going to stream it on Twitch. I will be removing my borders. I will be removing the chat on my screen and just leaving me. I might even take me down and just have the big old movie up there with my voice still active. I literally just 
just got the notification that there was one. Fight breaks out. Oh, in London. Look at that shit. And they, like, recorded themselves doing it. So apparently nobody actually knows what happened. The most that they know is that everyone in the audience was complaining and then they started fighting. Jesus Christ. People are ridiculous. Stop being trash and ruining things for people. I know that's hard for a lot of people out there, but, like, try to be human. I know. That is asking so much, especially in our current world. I mean, we're literally one good yell away from fucking World War Three. So, like, I know people are, like, stressing out and freaking out. But, like, if anything, this is the best time to be nice to your, you know, brothers and sisters. Your friends, your strangers. Because we're going to probably have to band together here sooner than later. With the way shit's going now. All right. Victory. So I have to knock out two side quests before the story missions will continue. Which is where I'm trying to head to now. Um, I'm going to go over to where that mirror is and we're going to save it there. Because um, I know I usually stream till 1... But lately, I have had such a, like, low number of viewers that streaming that late 
just doesn't seem worthwhile to me. Also, having to be up at, like, for my new job as early as I have to be kind of sucks, too. Thankfully, tomorrow I don't have to be up until 12. I don't have to be at work until 12.30. But, like... I want to go hang, like, go hang out in my room and, like, play something and watch something before I go to bed, so. Um, I've been trying to wrap my streams up around 12.30. Um, I know it's only 12.16, but by the time we start getting into the missions and whatever, it's gonna be time to wrap it up. So, we're just gonna go ahead and do it here. Um, I had a lot of fun. We had a lot of conversations going tonight. That was fun, you guys. Oh. We're a little, we're more active tonight than you've been in a while, so that was really nice. I enjoyed our chat, especially about trails. Um, uh, so tomorrow is Thursday, which means it's Throwback Thursday. So tomorrow night, we'll probably just be live with Shadow Hearts. Um, if I'm not feeling Shadow Hearts because I'm still frustrated with that jail part, we might just play Grandia. But my goal is Shadow Hearts, because I don't want to, like, do that thing where, like, I got frustrated with a part and then I put the game off until, like, it's months later and we're still waiting to finish it. No. I want to get back into it and I want to finish it. Um, so the goal tomorrow night is Shadow Hearts 2. Pop it. All right. Uh, I will not be... I obviously don't stream in the mornings anymore. Um, Fridays, I might start getting into, like, a morning stream. Because they're going to be giving me Fridays off soon, so I might try to stream two days, like two, twice on Fridays. Like once while my partner sleeps, and then the stream later that night. But, anywho, tomorrow, make sure you all tune in, 9 o'clock. Um, we'll be live, like I said, with either Shadow Hearts or Grandia. Um, probably Shadow Hearts. Alright, so thank you for tuning in. I had fun, I love you all, but it is time for the bakery to close its doors. And until they open again tomorrow, I hope you all have a sweet rest of your night. Fairy out!